What's going on guys, it's me Chiller. I'm bringing you some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We're traveling back to our encampment right now to talk to Sigurd and see what's up. Uh, last episode, turns out he has a god inside of him, which is pretty insane. Um, yeah, I don't know how that's going to affect Eivor, but we're going to find out. Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Ah, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? what? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch, Fulcate, do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am, I know my destiny, and you will not hinder me! Bro, calm down. Brother... Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Bro, I don't like how he's fucking... Stand with cheer, one and all. How he's acting Today right now. Is a day of Ranvi, Sigurd has been through so much. Be patient with him. Of course. I cannot imagine. The savagery of that woman, Fulke. For all her wretchedness, she seemed to... to like him. I know that sounds strange. How do you mean? She claimed to know him, to admire him. Said he was a greater man than we could ever know. Yet for all her praise, she tortured him to the brink of madness and death. I do not understand why. In time, Sigurd may come around. And if he does... He may be willing to speak. Before that time, it would be best to keep all discussions about... ...about us... ...to yourself. Of course. Now is not the time. I have no guilt, no regret for what we have done. But we should be careful. Agreed. Thank you. And know that, however far away... ...you are always in my thoughts. I know. I feel the same. Oh. Where is Sigurd gone? Go, my eyes. Hey there, how are you? Somewhere over there. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. 
It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out, but... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand. But all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. No. I... I don't know what that means. Look! This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend. Return to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. The wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. The good news. I mean, yeah, Sigurd's back, but wrong with you? so far nothing's been good about it. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? No. I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every no. mishap that has befallen right back him. There. But gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he's barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. The arrow. Shall we? Please, Eivor. Not now. Not with Sigurd there. Okay, I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. Oh, we got Gloucester Society too. I'll end up here. Hmm. What transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife. And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. Alright, bet.
All right, I'll be Gunner's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. Grateful to see Bassam returned. There's so much more I wish to learn from him. Here. This marks few members of the Order. One more gone. The world is brighter for it. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. You have done well, but there are more still. I have to go. Then go in peace. I have a couple... Well, that's pretty sick. Oh, that's all of them. I have them all and they're all fully upgraded. Nice. <gasps> Hello. Need something forged? Good day. Is Gunner about or... Did he leave and not mention it? My name is Rima, and Gona is a good friend of mine. Ask me to run his shop while he's away. It is good to meet you, and strange to see Gunner away from his forge. Well, as far as I know, he's got a very compelling and beautiful reason for his absence. So here I am. Yeah, we're well. Well, if Gunner has faith in you, I do too. Then I say you have fine taste. Have a look at what I've got. I would like to see what you I want to upgrade this. I want to see what it looks like. Same. Do you look the same still? Sure do. That be all. Yep. That's it. So Okay, where the Afon tame is for the meats. So he's over here. Oh, Sire. Cast about this land, my friend. So to him right here. There you oh. are, Gunner. Right here. And with a smile I haven't seen in some time. Eivor, over here. You want to load the details of uh, Gunner? Eivor, <laughs> thought I smelt you under wind. Gunner, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. 
This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our gunner. Lavendine da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you a family, Bridget? That mom and dad carried Evan Gillard and Anun. Couldn't help Drews me. Bridget man power the last high priestess and elder man. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we'll go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air see a gumpas killer. That's a vergal, please, clown. Right? No daylight to waste then, huh? What? So the Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> and the merchants here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger. They come from all over to celebrate Sawan. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mine. Sawan? Is that what these cab roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let's bring a few back. There is the elder man. Kunan. A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah. Then let's introduce you to Tevder. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick and the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? He does not seem nice. Have I wronged you? I'm here only for the wedding. Where I come from, we do not poison the well of friendship so swiftly. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? I'm here as a friend to Gunnar. I do not like to make enemies when breaking bread. So tread careful, boy. A apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You, you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? <laughs> ah, ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last Samhain. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. <laughs> so you've come to meet the family. Before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan. But your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season. But Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path. A fellow may fall in God's service. 
Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. I, Devder? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <laughs> <clears throat> well, shall we then? A tale of wicker fire. Sowen. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. Ways, God's the light does not dim as the night's chill. But the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around. It lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. <laughs> Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenhelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You're a kinder man than the mask you wear. You won't be rid of me. I'll keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? <laughs> to humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, <laughs> I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I'll not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Teftir. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Tefter, get to safety. Hogs. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? <laughs> that was close. I showed a wolf hell. Eivor. Thank you, for saving my life. It is good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude, cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. <laughs> Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe <sighs> here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kuna. Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one, find me at the festivities. I feel like he's gonna do something. Don't 
Eivor, there you are. Here I am. So, what adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tevter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. Accosted by a singular of boar. Odd, but path now usually south. To the Grievo. Speaking pig Latin. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight. Two of you as a pair. How did Teftir become Kunan's successor? He speaks with his god's fire, but I do not quite believe it. I watched the Egloy's father's Harden call on Teftir. He believes my venade's quite do. Hmm, tragic that is. But I think the lad can still be molded, Eivor. You might be just the one to do that. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. 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 So you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskalan Vela Sprudjan and Creatures of the Vale. The bag for treats. Glowashester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given. <laughs> I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, praying for sweets and drink. <laughs> what? Oh my god. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Louvre. Now, that's hooden. Become the Mary Louvre. The spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your gunner if no one else. Trick or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Louid. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sour night and the moon is high. Mary Louid haunts my door. Give me sweets and candy treats, the kind I most adore. <laughs> Here then, sweets for the Mari Luid. You've earned it. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet. Like Halloween. Ready to rhyme with me? Down the road from my abode, there is an open vale. I've been here knocking and a walking. Now give me cake and ale. Brilliant, that is. As you give cheese. Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our store so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> Look at these cakes. Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this. Gunnar? My cakes. Stretch your wings sooner.
You are either fearless or stupid, boy, to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Goner, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hood and more. <laughs> you seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ, him tall. We should be burning alive. How dare you do that? Thing. Are you sure you don't want to stay in Gloucester? They know how to have fun. We stop doing that. You can't counter it because you do it so quickly. Four spears, my leg. Gunner, beautiful. Enough. Keep your brawls to the other side of the river. There's children about. My bad. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher. I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Oh. Let's see that leg then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. To look us. Maldron's a compass to patch this land. Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on Sunday. Oh, shit, you this fucking Tie fear for the fragile peace when Tevder becomes elder men. With Dean of Fall, regardless of who you poor, that man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire, but I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenith, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before you return. <laughs> I'll give me strength. But my modern is known I'm a humor towish gudran. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make Mary and try to loosen Tempter's shoulders. Modron, you do not have to save his leg. I'll understand. <laughs> that limb will be fine, but no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. Why does this cloak on? Take this stick that's up your ass and take it With out. bitter ale and sweet friends, that is a fine way to end the day. Eivor, there you are. Tefter. You're well met. Gwilim here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lab will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale then. One for me as well. For oh, a shaveling of the Christ Lord, you have a lot of scars with them. Not every tonsured man is a wet ear, Abbey babe. I came to God after I had scarred my soul with sin. To holy hearts and humid eyes. It is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull. Yeah, 
Well, that's a lot of cups. Two cups ahead. Oop, fucked up. Good effort, Tefter. <laughs> this merriment feeds my soul. Here, another drink on me for allies new and old. Bro, of all the other men already. I've met, you are the most unburdened. What is your secret? None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with me. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after pork crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. Your people are loyal to you, Kunan. Seems a waste to throw your life away. Their loyalty would falter if I shirked my duties. I will die glorious in flame, not live to further choke my homeland. A toast, then, to Elderman Kunan, joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. You can see that she's I'd still like to toast my successor, Tevder. May he wear the horns head high. It's the fucking arrows, dude. Oui. Where Not is to restart this? my game after Water. this episode. I feel like Thor chugging oceans, no effect to my head or step. <laughs> you heard the woman. Give her something stronger. <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills. And the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. <laughs> wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. Eivor, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse's ours. Yes. <laughs> Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very nice in. as a spring gale. <laughs> and how nice is that? Tevter, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? <laughs> yeah. The greatest, greatest oath and the greatest union. To the oath. The treaty. The greatest. <laughs> I'll be some sure if he has to kill himself. More ale to seal our friendship. <laughs> this way, this way. Look out for the black sow. 
Sow. Like pig. Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <laughs> silly words to scare silly children. <laughs> you see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps... I judge too much. Truths I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my... <laughs> Phil. I have to piss. <laughs> A great blackness chases stars across the sky in great worlds of color and light. Whoosh. Here we are. Right inside here. Tefter! 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 Where are you? <laughs> what the fuck? Knocked out drunk. Still hold of the mirrors, though. Hell's breath. What happened last night? Is that a dead body? Uh, the effects of that draft still cling. Tefter! Are you here? Tefter's bodyguard, killed by knife. I think I'm about to be set up for murder. But, we're going to end this episode right there. If you enjoyed watching, as always, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.